guys 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 the wuthering waves team at kuro games they have released a new tweet this is literally what like earlier today 11 a.m my time um basically giving us a little bit of a roadmap of what's going to be happening and the things they're going to be trying to do in 1.0 and 1.1 it's a reading one so we got a lot to go through let's have a look let's see what they got to say man i'm i'm interested to see what's going on here so to start off by saying greetings with Wuthering Waves dev team. Since the official launch, we received a lot of valuable feedback and suggestions through social media and in-game surveys. We are genuinely grateful for your attention and support. We apologize for the deficiencies and issues present in Wuthering Waves, our first fully independently developed and globally published game at Kuro Games. We understand that this has affected your gaming experience and we are working to improve it for those who love the game. We do love the game. Let's see, let's get some fixes. Come on now. We've been working on optimizations and iterations for the current 1.0 version and the development of subsequent version updates is also underway. Below, we will address some of the most discussed and concerned issues. On the echo development experience. Okay, this will be a big one for a lot of people. Echo development feels grindy and inadequate energy materials. Yeah, I think uh, the tuners. I think people are saying like, there's no, I'm not at the true, true end game yet. I'm not farming five. I just hit like, I think I'm about to hit data bank 15 today. So I'm finally going to see what's up with the five star grind. We are aware of the common concern in the community that the current echo leveling experience feels too grindy and the game lacks a wave plate storage system. Yes, thank you wave plates, that's what I was talking about. We've confirmed and will implement the following adjustments while we are working internally on solutions to address other common concerns. In the current version, we will launch a limited time echo material double yield event, cord cleansing. Cool, that's dope, I ain't mad at that. In version 1.1, so this is 1.1 stuff now, we will adjust the progression system to reduce the shell credit cost of echo development. Dope, so they're going to cost less money. In version 1.1, we will remove the reward cutscene of the tacit field. Thank you. People ain't got time to waste, man. Get out of here. From version 1.1 and forward, the yield of echoes and echo development materials will be increased. Hey, that's a dub. That's a W. In incoming updates, we will introduce the wave plate storage system. Yes, they did just, I think they just brought that up, up here. So that'll be interesting. Number two, regarding our handling of the reward system error when recycling developed echoes. On May 29th, we were notified of an issue with the echo recycling system where the amount of shell credits players obtained when recycling developed echoes was wrong. Since this is an issue that directly impacts the game's balance, we fixed this problem through an emergency live update on the same night and issued compensation to all players. As part of the measures to minimize the event's impact on the fairness within the player community, we informed the players of the situation and announced that we would remove all additional shell credits obtained unexpectedly as a result of this bug within 14 business days. Oh, excuse me. And issue compensations accordingly. Okay, that's cool. I am mad at that. However, due to the urgency of this issue, we failed to issue an announcement of this issue in the first is oh yeah, they're using the word issue a lot, which regrettably, I can't read, which regrettably caused the negative experiences for our players. We sincerely apologize for our improper way of handling this situation at the inconvenience caused. Okay, cool. Following an internal discussion, we decided to compensate all players with the shell credit based on the maximum amount of shell credit that had been unexpectedly yielded through this bug to address the negative impact caused. We will round up to the nearest whole number and provide extra compensation to all players. Shell credit, 1 million. A hey, ain't mad at that. Ain't mad at that. Distribution time will be by 11.59 on June 10th. Eligibility, character created, yada, 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 yada. A lot of nonsense here. Additionally, to address the poor experience with the echo system, we will compensate all rover, uh, rovers with crystal solvents. 20. 20 crystal solvents which equals oh okay the things that give 60 wave plates hey yo i appreciate that thank you number two on the error in five star weapon description as has been discovered by our players the description of fast yeah everyone we know about this we kind of know about this i'm going to read all this we know there's been an issue had a translation error in jp i believe we've connected uh, we've initiated a comprehensive internal review of the localized versions of the in-game text across all languages that we support any corrections or improvements made during the process will be included in the upcoming updates. We sincerely apologize for this mistake, yada yada yada. Yo, a lot of yapping. In the meantime, we will offer a one-time compensation of five forging tides to all rovers. I think that's the item that you used to pawn the weapon banner. I have yet to pawn the weapon banner, so I have no idea. I don't, that doesn't ring a bell for me. I've seen it in the shop, I just haven't acquired the, uh, the wish item yet, or pull item, whatever, man. Okay, so five of those. As we endeavor to constantly improve the localization quality across different languages, yada, 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 yada. Version events. Okay. 
We have received extensive feedback on the duration and rewards of the Overdash Club event. To address your concerns, we are currently in the process of redesigning the rules and rewards scheme for the... What's wrong with the Overdash event? Are people actually mad about that? I don't... You just go in, you do one race, you get your rewards, you go. I, I don't know. I, don't, I personally don't have an issue with that. I just... It's easy. You got the... What? To offer new rewards and content to improve your gaming experience. What's wrong? Wait, was there an actual, like... Was there beef with the with the dash event? I don't... <laughs> I don't have an issue with it. It's just, just dashing. Like some of the hedgehog. Get in, get out. Alright, so they're gonna give a morphable elite class echo one, a morphable elite class echo two, a premium tuna, and a premium silk tuna. What the hell? We're getting bare shit. Okay. Bro, apparently people have beef with that event. And then on future version updates timeline, here we go. This is what we all want. Since the official launch of Wuthering Waves, we've received extensive feedback regarding the game's storyline, localization, yep, the dub, and various other aspects. We've been listening closely and are grateful for the continued enthusiasm and support from our players, which has exceeded our expectations. To allow everyone early access to experience more content and features of Wuthering Waves in version 1.0, we decided to advance the release of subsequent content in 1.0. I think I was reading this in-game on the in-game news thing earlier today. I think, I can't remember. Uh, June 6th, so starting on June 6th, this will release, this release will include the companion story for Yinling. Oh yeah, so Yinling's coming early guys, basically, she's coming, Yinling is coming early, early Yinling. That's amazing, uh, yeah, June 6th, okay. And her way I wish the story quest, yada yada. 1.0 will last until June 28th, after which we will schedule server downtime and implement an update for 1.1. Four of Eons, which will include a new area, Mount Firmament, new resonators, Jinshi and Chang Li. Oh my god, I can't wait for them. I can't wait. And a new boss, Jue. Yep, I mean, we're not really, if you're up to date on the story, we know it was leading to Jinshi having to, like, she was looking for Jue. And what the hell is that in my ear? Oh, it's the music on the, on the site. What the hell? That was loud as shit. Oh my lord. I had my headphones down. I didn't realize. Um, <laughs> I turned off. I was like, whoa, that was loud as shit. All right, anyway. Um, yeah, we knew she was going to face Jue, so like that's not that surprising. To compensate for any convenience caused by this version timing adjustment, we will issue compensation to all rovers. Radiant Tide times 10. I don't know if that's the regular one or the, the yellow one, I have no idea. But that's cool. Temple, I'll take it. Um, that's June 3rd. Okay, ten, the temple is June 3rd. And Yinling is June 6th. Okay, I am out of that. Five, on combat and control and experience optimization. We have heard your feedback regarding the poor experience with auto-aiming and auto-lock controls, key remapping requirements, and game field design based on the issues that repeatedly come up. The issues that repeatedly come up in player discussions, we had identified the following issues that will address them accordingly. While working on a solution to other known issues, not listed below. Auto-aiming and auto-lock. In the recent updates, we've disabled the combat camera correction feature on PC by default. Nice. We optimized the default values and ranges for combat. That's good. People, a lot of people had issues with that. Number two, bosses exist in combat state unexpectedly. In recent updates, we've optimized the aggro ranges for certain bosses, including Thundering Mephis, Crownless, Lamp, I'm not even gonna pronounce, I'm not doing that, I'm pronouncing that word, Myriad, and an Impermanence Heron, and adjusted the prerequisites for enemies to leave the combat, combat state. The combat, combat state. <laughs> okay, okay, Guru Games. State to reduce abnormal disengagements. In upcoming updates, we'll introduce a disengagement warning feature. Ah, people were asking for this. Like, let me know that I'm close to the edge, that they're going to, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is basically the aggro thing. People were having issues. Uh, bosses would knock them out the aggro zone and then go back and get their health back. And people were like, what the fuck? So that's good. Ghost Touch issue on mobile. If you're a mobile player, this is for you. I can't imagine playing this game on mobile. I just can't. In recent updates, we've expanded the anti Ghost Touch area around buttons. Future version will include, I don't care. You can read that if you play on mobile. I play on PC. Um... Delayed availability of custom key binding feature. I play on controller, so again, the key binding probably doesn't. In version 1.1, the prerequisite to unlock the custom key binding feature will be lowered to union level 2. We will also introduce a new player tutorial for using the custom key binding. Okay, that's good for, again, keyboard players, mobile players, those two are for you. Controller mode experience optimization. What we got? We will remap the current controller shortcut of open chat to open map. And I, thank you, because I have no reason to open that chat, bro. I got Discord. I don't. I got Discord. I have no reason to open that chat. Though I need nice to have a shortcut to the map button. And an option to invert the Y-axis. Future versions will support controller mode on mobile devices. Okay, if you want to play controller on the phone, there you go, look at that. Poor game fill design and impact signification. If future versions will constantly improve the event signification and game fill design for characters and monsters, enhancing the overall combat experience. Okay, so they've taken like a lot of these 
this shit into consideration like they're really like hey they're being very transparent here and they're saying look we know we fucked up we're gonna try and fix it uh audio oh no purchase limits for store items like flour leading to accidental purchases in recent updates we have added a weekly purchase limit for certain items in the store okay cool audio and sound effects bug in recent updates we were just issues regarding missing sound effects and exclusively loud ambient sounds we've completed some investigation and updates to fix these issues yes please i'm having issues with the uh, music sometimes uh performance issues crashes and instability this is again the crashes we apologize we are committed to ongoing performance so again they're, you know, they're trying to fix that they don't really have a date there um depths of elusive realm we have received numerous players feedback and suggestions regarding the depths of the elusive realm event in version 1.0 the upcoming version 1.1 update will further improve this event and add new content including more playable characters new challenges new mechanics and new buffs okay cool so if you again that's again it's more like end game stuff Apart from the adjustments mentioned above, we recognize that there are still many issues in the game that affect player experience. We are committed to listening to every single piece of feedback, continuously organizing, optimizing, and resolving these issues to make Wuthering Waves better. We will share and communicate future updates and optimization progress with you actively, as you have been doing, and I respect that, because that's all I want from most gaming companies, like, oh, you're actually listening. <clears throat> Additionally, we will continue to gather player feedback through version surveys. Bet. Bet, 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 bet. Uh, since Wuthering Waves official global launch, we have been disheartened by our inability to provide a high quality gaming experience to all rovers. We understand that continuously re re releasing better versions and content is our goal and mission, and we will always strive to uphold them. Finally, we sincerely thank you for your continued attention and we support yada 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 Wuthering Waves dev team. Alright, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah. I ain't mad at it. I really hope they can like deal with like the Japanese stuff and help the JP guys out and like, oh man. They really fucked up with the with the with the JP stuff going on with the weapon translations and the like the email docs and the, oh it's crazy bro. But outside of that, it looks like they've addressed um most of the issues that people have had had beef with. So I didn't know people had beef with that dash event though. Please let like if you got what what's the what is the beef with that? I I cannot bother to look into that. But yeah. Um this is really good. I'm looking forward to seeing where the game goes. You can only go up from here really. Every game launches with issues. Um I'm not Y9, I'm just saying like yeah, every game launches with issues. It's how you go about fixing those issues as soon as you can and how much better they get. I'm looking forward to 1.1 for these wave plate changes. Like, yes, please. Um, the extra echo drops is cool because now I'm about to hit the end game today. So, yeah, I am mad at it. What do you guys think down below? Let me know. Are you happy with some of these changes? Are you mad at it? Just let me know down below. And I'll catch you in the next one.